Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today, I'm going to get into a few winter essentials that we absolutely need in our wardrobes in order for it to be functional. Now, we do have like a month, like a month and a half for winter, but it doesn't mean that you can't grab some of these things now because they're likely going to be on sale for next winter. I'm a firm believer of buying things that are more classic when it comes to essential pieces for your wardrobe. And that's whether that's your spring essentials, uh, summer, fall, or spring. Winter, spring, summer, fall. <laughs> Um, that's because that's what makes your closet functional. If you do not have a functional closet, 99% of the times you're going to be struggling trying to find something to wear. This is just the rule and this is just what it is. If you really think about the times where you really are just sitting in your closet staring into a mirror or staring into your closet like I have nothing to wear and it's probably something as simple as like a trench coat that you needed to like complete the outfit. That's what I mean by like essential pieces. So it doesn't really matter what season it is, you definitely need essential items. Let's get into the winter essential items that I think all tall girls need, okay, in their wardrobes this winter. So I'm gonna pop in some photos. I was gonna show you guys some of the ones that I have, um, but you guys are probably tired of seeing them because they are essential pieces. I paid a decent amount of money for them, and these are the things that I wear often in this season so but i am going to show you guys some other ones that i found that are very tall girl friendly i don't want to say affordable <laughs> but i look at items based on the length of the item the sleeves the shoulders and how it'll actually fit someone of a taller frame because that is the struggle for us and you guys already know i make regular brands work for me so the first item is a trench coat trench coats are those pieces that can add value to your fall wardrobe winter and even your spring wardrobe depending on the jacket that you get there are some that come with a lining on the inside that you can take out and those are by far the best ones because you can get your cost per wear in three different seasons i would say summer but depending on where you are it may be a little bit too hot for a trench coat at nighttime but a trench coat is something that is needed in everyone's wardrobe. If you're not a person who likes to wear beige colors, they have a ton of classic trench colors and a ton of different beiges. Now, you're probably like, well, I don't like beige. <laughs> Here's the thing, when you're buying something that is beige, you have to really think about your undertone because there's so many different colors of trench coats that you may have came across one that you just don't like that color. It may be kind of like a peanut butterish color that may not go well with you or something that is probably like a grayish. I have the one from the Frankie shop. The reason, and I want one more, the reason why I like this one from the Frankie shop is solely because I like to wear red <laughs> and that color goes amazing with red. If I can find a picture, I'll pop it in for you guys, but I'll actually link some ones that I actually love from the Frankie shop and other places for you as well. But I'll pop in some that I actually see that I know can fit a tall girl frame and I'll show you guys multiple colors here <laughs> as to what I mean when I say different colors of beige. So a trench coat is the first thing that you absolutely need in your wardrobe this winter for your essential pieces. <laughs> and the second thing is a wool coat. Now you don't have to be all plain and classic if you don't want to with your wool coat depending on your wardrobe. For me, beige, creams, blacks, possibly a pop of something that will go with the majority of my wardrobe or maybe a pattern, I'm gonna get it. But you may be a girl who loves like baby blue. Girl, get you a baby blue trench coat. If it goes with the majority of your wardrobe, definitely get it. The Frankie Shop has wool coats and I did a video on the one that I got from them. It's not a full on wool coat. It's something more of, I don't know, like a thick, thick sweater. <laughs> Cause it's like, it's like the shape of a wool coat, but it's not thick like something. I would not wear that in New York City weather, like cold, no, absolutely not. You want something that has like a lining in it. And most of the times with the wool coats that have a lining, you cannot wear those in a spring, okay? 
This jacket that I got from the Frankie shop, it's not thick at all. It is wool. It's a wool blend. That's the other thing. Um, you want to get something that's like 100% wool. That way it will last you for a really long time. Put it in the dry cleaners, take really, really good care of it, and have it for a long time. Look into a wool coat. Now here's the thing. You have midi, you have short, you have maxi. So think about what works well with you. For me, I would say that you need like a maxi one because they're very, very chic. And here's the thing guys, let's just say you wanna throw on your wool coat one day and you really do not like your outfit, your jacket is gonna be the showstopper, all right? So you can get something that's plain as well or you can get something that has more of a pattern to it. So it really just depends on your actual wardrobe and your overall aesthetic. Chunky boots, all right, chunky boots are not for everyone. But if you find the right pair, it's definitely going to do your wardrobe some justice. Because style is evolving so much, you can wear chunky boots with shorts, you can wear them with skirts, you can wear them with dresses. Literally, a masculine piece with a feminine piece creates a masterpiece, okay? <laughs> so if you are afraid to like dive into that little mixture or you feel like chunky boots are a little bit too masculine, dress it up with a dress. You don't want to always have to wear shoes if you don't want to. If that's your thing, that's cool. But most of the time, most women do have a comfortable pair of boots or something, maybe even Chelsea boots that are in their closet that can go with a ton of other things. So chunky boots are the other thing that you need in your closet this winter that is an essential item. Keeping it with the shoes, let's go for knee boots. I would say thigh high, but knee boots are a lot more realistic and you will get majority of your course per wear with a knee boot as opposed to a thigh high. That is solely because some women will wear shorts, mini skirts with their thigh high boots and a lot of women do not wear shorts in the winter at all. So midi boots, knee boots uh, would be your best bet. Go for something that is more of a, I want to say like a western style but not over the top western. <laughs> that way you can wear it for season after season. If you get something that is very very trendy, you may risk the chance of not being able to wear it the following winter and you guys already know. I am a cost per wear type of girl, okay? Make sure you are buying the best quality so that you can have the item for a really long time. Something that's comfortable, nothing that hurts your toes, your feet, nothing that is too tight around your calf area, something more on the looser side so you can wear your jeans in them, you can wear riding pants in them, skinny jeans, leggings, whatever it is, put them in there, you're good to go. So definitely get you a pair of knee boots. Sweaters are another essential that you absolutely love. So sweaters is another essential that you absolutely need in your winter and fall essentialist. When it comes to buying sweaters, you have crops. Now, okay, let me, let me backtrack. <laughs> so many brands now are making items, shirts, sweaters that are cropped. And I don't mean like, a small little crop I mean like under the bra area crop like so short so if that is not your thing definitely go for a cardigan a crew neck sweater something that is um, maybe oversized something with shoulder pads possibly something that is more on like a teddy side but there are an array styles of sweaters out there that you can get and absolutely make work for you for winter and spring so when it comes to like wearing a sweater in the spring they have to be a really lightweight now the frankie shop and i'll pop in some photos of some sweaters the frankie shop has nice thin sweaters that you can absolutely wear in the spring lightweight not too thick if that is not your thing you don't want to wear a sweater in the spring get them now <laughs> because we got a month and a half to go and you can definitely wear these next year like i said go for something a little bit more classic in the style that way you're not getting something that can possibly be outdated next winter all right go for your turtlenecks we all know every essential list has turtlenecks on it you don't want something that's boring so you can get something that has a little bit of twist to it something with like a little bit of pattern if you want to get something that is classic you can do that but you can still get it with a little twist so i have 
a turtleneck from Koss and it is sheer everywhere except for here and around the neck and the bottom. So that's what I mean by getting something that is a little bit more not so classic, something with a twist. Even though it's sheer, sheer is never gonna go out of style. So I got a bang for my buck and it's very stylish and it's not gonna go out of style guys. But if you don't want anything like that, go for something that is more classic and of a solid actual piece. Beige, cream, ivory, black, red, blue, green. Something classic that you can wear multiple ways, but turtlenecks are an essential in your winter wardrobe. If you are a scarf person, okay, there are a ton of scarves that you can get for the winter. Now, back in the day, we used to wear like super thick and long scarves in New York. I mean, when I say long, I'm six feet, they would wrap around like a few times and they still will be hanging. If that's not your thing, go for something that just kind of sits over your head. And do I have an example? Mm, they're in my closet. Uh, they kind of look, I don't even know what they're called to be quite honest with you, but they're, they're scarf, but they're just like one whole thing. Like you just kind of stick it over your head. They're really nice. They're thick. They're big. They have smaller ones that are not so heavy as far as the thickness and then they have really really thick ones but you just plop them over and they just sit here so if you do have trouble with trying to make your scarf look stylish definitely go for something like this i'll pop in a picture if i can find one because they're old but i know that they came out with like more up-to-date ones absolutely love them but definitely get you some scarves that are really really nice you don't have to get anything too thick especially if you wanna wear it in the spring, you can go for something a little bit more lightweight. Now here's the thing, if you live in a state where your winters are like <laughs> springs, you can definitely still get something on the lightweight side and still wear it in the spring when spring actually hits. So really think about where you live. If you're traveling a lot during the year, think about where you're traveling to before you go ahead and buy a ton of thick scarves. If you like this video so far, make sure you are hitting that like button. My favorite leather gloves. All right, I'm gonna pop in some photos of leather gloves. I have two pair. One is extremely long, they go up to my elbows, okay? The other is just regular leather gloves, but your wardrobe needs leather gloves if you can find a pair that is appropriate in size because the average American is not super small so but anyway I digress gloves are another thing google that because you have a ton of brands and people on Etsy that sell really really nice leather gloves so definitely get you a pair of leather gloves this fall and if you want to get something for the spring that's leather you can you can get the ones with no fingers. Those are pretty cool. I like those. Um, and you can just get something that doesn't have to be leather, but I would prefer leather because they're very, very stylish. So then we got stockings or tights. I say tights. Some of you guys say stockings. But listen, if you can get a really, really great pair or a few pair of tights for this winter, it's going to save you so much time when it comes to wanting to wear a dress or a skirt and your legs being cold. Depending on where you live, you may be able to get away with just a pair of stockings, which are a lighter uh, material. Or if you do live in a state where it gets really cold, definitely go for a pair of nice thick tights. They have them everywhere for tall women. Make sure you are buying tights that fit. You guys know I like sheer tights. I am in Atlanta, so I don't really need to buy super, super thick tights if I don't want to. Now we did have our cold days, but for the most part, it's not as cold. So I think today is like maybe 60 today and it's winter. So that's what I mean. Just buy things that work well with your actual environment and your personal style. And the last thing is going to be my favorite hats. If you love hats, guys, check out Lack of Color, check out Russ Limbaginski, check out, um, who's the other people that I like? I would say Brixton, but you guys already know how I feel about Brixton. It's like a hit or miss. And I want to say BCBG. Really, really nice hat. Russ Limbaginski does have fedora hats, and he also has Baker Boy hats that are cotton for the spring and they also have some that are wool for the winter. I have seen girls wear the wool ones in the summer as well. I don't know how that works, but they do wear them. So definitely get you some amazing hats. If you like scullies, 
get you a scully guys scullies are so street style but i still like a nice little scully get you a nice team fitted i'm a new yorker so i say fitted or a nice baker boy hat or some fedoras or anything that's a little bit different that's gonna make your outfit pop in the winter definitely go for that guys that's all of the items that i have that are essential for this winter listen each item on here you if you don't have it you can definitely take your time to buy it so you have everything for next year we want to have a functional wardrobe if we don't trust me you're gonna be so pissed off that you don't have something as simple as a trench coat to finish an outfit so those are my top 10 <laughs> essential winter pieces that every tall girl needs in her wardrobe if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and coco styles ny and my personal style blog coco styles nyc and my style services coco styles ny and i'm on tickety tickety tag coco styles nyc and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>